Hi to all, welcome to RAMs and Android Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to work with the edit text and text view. So here, edit text we use to get the user inputs and text view we are using to show any kind of data to the user inside activity. So here, any view that is displaying the text, any view that is displaying the text, so in that class we have a uh, method to get the text get text method in the same way dynamically we change the text in any view using the set text method so those methods here we are using in the edit text and text view classes to work with so first of all i have created the project called edit text and text view so let us create user interface first inside activity underscore main i'm going to create a user interface uh, let us see the preview So first of all, I'm taking the edit text here. And uh, edit text ID, I'm saying edit text underscore name. At the same time, here hint I'm taking is enter name. The same way we are removing the text property. So this is the edit text here and I am taking the button now. So uh, user is going to enter the name in the edit, and edit text and whenever we click the button with the help of text view we are showing the name or uh, which name that was entered in the edit text now. So we are taking the button and for the button uh, we are taking the id is button underscore show and uh, text is right show name show name and uh, now let us take the text view just we are taking the text view from here large text and for the text view id is underscore name text view underscore name and the text is not required why because dynamically we are displaying it so this is the uh, user interface and now we will go to the java code java main activity come to the java code these methods are not required so i am deleting them And now first we need to call the references so first of all I'm calling the reference edit text edit name equal to we'll do the typecasting that is edit text and uh, find you by ID we need to call the references first of all the view references r dot id dot edit text underscore name in the same way we need to take the text view reference text view uh, we say that display text equal to here text view and the method is find you by id r dot id dot text view underscore name now we need to call the button button show button And find you by id r dot id dot button underscore show now we need to write an action for this already we know how to write an action for the button from previous examples we learned so that we are calling the interface set on click listener anonymous listener type new on click listener and we got a method called on click method now whenever we click this button on click method will execute so whenever we click the button we should get the data from a text and we need to display with the help of text view so that here first of all we need to get the data from a text 
So hence this is anonymous in a type. If you want to use this uh, references, so we need to make them as a final. And this one also we are going to make as a final. Now first we need to get the data from edit text so that edit name edit text object edit name dot see edit name dot we have a method get text dot finally why because user can enter anything in the edit text so that finally we are converting that as a string so two string method will return the string so that we are saying string name equal to string name equal to a text dot get text to string so this is the way to get the data from the user and user entering the data that was there in the string object so that that one we can display with the help of text view so display text dot to set the text to the text view we have a method set text method in the set text method we are going to display the uh, uh, name that was entered in the text so that that is name save it So this is the name we are going to display here. That's it. So this is an example to work with edit text and text view. So once we rebuild the project, so code. Uh, this example you can download from my blog. So I will give you the. Uh, the code uh, link down and if you like my channel you can subscribe and uh, you can visit my blog to get more Android code so I'm going to give you the link below in the comment box So this is the problem with the Android Studio. It will take a lot of time to build the project and to run the project. Fine, let us try to run. So we are going to select this simulator, okay. Again, we'll try to learn. So here we have an output. So enter the name. That is, uh, I'm entering Android. We click on the button show name. You'll see whatever you are entering in the text, we can display with the help of text view. So thank you for watching. We will meet in the next video tutorial.